Hello, everybody. Welcome to another reading. Today, we are going to get some messages for the collective. This is for all signs, um, all placements. If you resonate with being an indigo, a light worker, a star seed, divine partner, twin flame, any of that fun stuff, there are probably messages for you in this video. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across this video is when you are meant to hear these messages. Before we jump into the reading, we have a lot of messages today to get into, but before we do that, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, the links to both of those will be listed down in the description box below. Also, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, all the information to that along with my email will be listed down below. Um, if you would like to donate to the page, the information for donations will also be listed in the description box hello <laughs> welcome back returning subscribers welcome new subscribers i hope that everybody has had a wonderful week i hope you're having a wonderful day i am having a very cleansing releasing emotionally uh healing day today so i hope that your day has been just as um healing i guess all right let's get into this so we're going to be using the santa morte tarot deck today um i do have some oracle uh cards pre-shuffled we have a lot um i'm not even gonna lie like we have a lot and then uh the channeled messages from the universe i have some signs and planets and then also um some uh months and uh i think it's what is it months and days oh months and seasons so we're going to get like, I don't know, some time frames here too. Just, I don't know, why not? I was called to do that. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's uh, get into this. So bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Um, so you could be an air sign that's watching this. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You could have air in your placement. Um, you could just be uh, really uh, airy today. That's interesting. Okay, here we go. I hope you like my sweater. It's one of my favorite sweaters. It says Harry Otter. <laughs> That's weird. Harry Otter, and I was thinking Airy. Anyway, um, yeah. All right, here we go. That could be somebody's name. I feel like that could be a name. All right. As always, I have pre-shuffled, but we're going to shuffle a few times while we are um, in the energy of the reading we're already getting messages through here though so um you could be a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign definitely a lot of air energy here um there could be communication uh like thoughts ideas um epiphanies things like that all right let's get some messages for the collective please do you see this okay that is the ace of pentacles Dun, dun, dun. I love this. This is this is lovely. This is a new beginning. This is a it could be like a new uh, career opportunity. Money coming in. This could be like a new stable foundation. This is this is nice. This is a nice start to the reading. Um, could be uh, an Earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could have Earth in your uh, chart. Nice. Let's get some more. What else? We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there could be some delays. Um, oh, Two of Cups could be some delays with a soulmate or in a romantic connection, but we'll see if that comes out. Um, it's the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right. Um, so Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And then water energy, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. Um, I'm going to take that. And let's just get one more. Why not? Thank you. Okay, so it's the Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. There could definitely be some communication coming in here. Um there could be an apology coming in. Somebody could be coming out of like silence. Um, there, there's also like a new opportunity here. Uh, so let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I like this overall. Two of Wands. Okay, so the Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody's made a decision. Um, something that was blocked or guarded is no longer blocked or guarded. Nice. Um, Page of Pentacles. We've got communication coming in here, possibly again with regarding money. Um, this could be communication from an earth sign for some, um, or um, 
Like I said, you could have Earth in your chart. Very nice. I like this. All right. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here? Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here? The Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Um, I kind of feel like this is sort of like an end to some conflicts or maybe it, it could be like an end, like maybe somebody was like, like maybe if you've been waiting for communication in like whatever sense, like whether this is with a, a job or like a family member or like a, a person, maybe they were like kind of like in their head and they were like thinking about um, like maybe a decision because we have the two of wands here. So they could have been like in their head, like thinking, or you could be, have been in your head thinking um, about a decision. Um, an offer possibly um and it's like now it's it's almost like that decision has been has been made um the internal conflict has ended and now like somebody's like working on um it's like the page of swords here is like writing the letter that like the knight of cups and this page of cups are going to be delivering um it's almost like the page of like the knight of cups is like getting ready to like leave it and then this page of cups is like i'm just gonna like drink this in here um or the Knight of Cups is coming to bring the message to the Page of Cups. There could be an age difference here. If this is a, um, what should we call it? If this is like a connection, um, whether romantic or not, there could be an age difference here because um, there could other be, also be like other people involved. We have two, we have three pages and a knight. So that would indicate like four people, two water signs and two uh, air sign or an air sign and a uh, earth sign. Take that if that resonates. Um, but yeah, I'm not really kind of like feeling it in that sense, to be honest with you. I'm kind of feeling it in like the way that I was saying it to begin with. All right. So why is the Knight of Cups here? <clears throat> so the one that I caught right here is the Two of Pentacles, which is like the sweetest, most lovingly romantic two of pentacles I've ever seen. Um, we also have the ace of wands. So um, nice. We have the sun, the knight of wands, and the four of wands. Somebody's coming in here with a, a, a love offer. This is this could be like an opportunity for like a new start, um, like a new relationship. This could be a reconnection. There's like a lot of like happiness, passion. This could be like somebody that you consider to be your person. This could be like if you resonate with the twin flame journey and you've been in separation. For some, this could be a reconciliation. Um, whether or not you you resonate with that, this could be a reconciliation. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This could be like a friendship reconciliation or a family or like a job sort of a sense. Um, I'm getting like hot. Like I'm feeling like flush. Like um, I'm really feeling like this is like in a romantic sense. Like I feel like this person could like make you like like possibly like flush just thinking about them. Um, and we, I mean, <laughs> we have that ace of wands here and let's all not forget <laughs> like what the wand represents. So definitely, um, a passionate story here. Wow. That's nice. Um, all right. I mean, we could clarify the magician. This is something that it could be an Aquarius. Um, this is something that I feel like you've been manifesting. This person's been manifesting. I don't feel like there's really a need to clarify the page of cups because I feel like this clarifies all of them. Um, you could, okay, so you could be um, dealing, this. there's like longing here too. There's been like longing. Um, okay. As far as signs go, we have Aquarius, Leo, um, I think that's it. And then we have like all the elements. We have every, every sign here, but specifically we have Leo and uh, Aquarius. But, like, that doesn't mean anything. Um, because we have, like, literally all the signs here. And this is a collective reading. Whew, you guys, I'm like... All right. Four of Swords in Reverse. Why is the Four of Swords in the Reverse here? Why is the Four of Swords in the Reverse here? Four of Swords in the Reverse here. I feel like for some of for some, this could be, like, money and, like, a reconnection coming in here. Like, this could be on multiple levels. Because we have, like... Um, we have all of these, um, we, we just like, this is, there's two new beginnings here. You know, there's a passionate new beginning, one that's involving like, uh, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, like, and this, uh,
four of wands and this beautiful two of pentacles here and then we've got another one with this um ace of pentacles and then like the page of pentacles and you know all of that coming in so for some of you it could be like um it like uh different new beginnings okay that was like a really weird weird way of saying that but i hope that you understand that like multiple new beginnings thank you thank you guides um I like it. All right, why is the Four of Swords in the reverse here? Four of Swords in the reverse. The Six of Cups. Right? I was gonna, yeah, it is. It's the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, this is a recon. This is okay for if this doesn't resonate with you. This doesn't resonate with you. No wonder, like this is why they wanted me to get the months and the seasons. Okay, this is for a lot. Like this could be. This is a reconciliation. Um, like I said, it, it, whether or not it's romantic, it's going to be up to you. This could be like, it, uh, in a career sense, this could be with a friend, this could be with a family member, this could be like, you know, somebody that you knew from your childhood. For some of you, this could be like returning home. Um, this is nice. I like it. Um, this could be, this could be really unexpected. We have the tower here. This could come in really unexpectedly. Um, Remember, the tower doesn't always have to be, like, bad. It just represents unexpected change. Um, it's just usually bad because usually we're trying to prevent that change from coming in. Um, unless it's something that we want, like money or love. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Let's just let's just all just be honest here. Like, this is a safe place to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on here to all of the many, many, many oracles that we have. Okay, so we have a whole lot of spirit um spirit animal messages now when i was shuffling this i was kind of thinking like okay let's let's like see who's in the collective so um these might be a uh, animals that you feel like represent you or that are like s significant to you um they may have like messages for you like uh, additionally like with the what the tarot messages were or aside from it but like that's kind of like the intention of it so i feel like that's why we have so many um because we have such a diverse Wow, this is beautiful. Um, I've never seen this one before. Okay, so the first one we have is the heron. I hope this focuses well. That is just, wow. Can you see it well? Okay, cool. That is gorgeous. Um, it says, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like that's for the Aries in the house. I love you, Aries, but come on. Like, the last couple of weeks have been like, patience, patience, patience. It could be for those impatient Tauruses, though. Let's not all, let's not forget how impatient those patient Tauruses can be. <laughs> huh. All right, so we have B, community. That's just, that's us. I mean, like, come on now. Like, we could be, uh, I mean, there could be, like, a lot of, a lot of busy bees in the house, too. Um, you are a powerful creator. You work, oh, your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. <laughs> I like it. I like that one a lot. Again, I'm feeling, like, the Leo energy with the sunflower coming in here. Um. Well, this one's pretty too. This is like very, these two have like very similar colors. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm annoying sometimes, right? My daughter's like, mom, stop. Like, you love it. But she can annoy me too, so it's karma. <laughs> Moving on. Hummingbird. Okay, so this one and the bee both make me think of um, passed on loved ones that I have specifically. The humming, hummingbirds always make me think of my aunt. And then bees always make me think of um, my grand, my daughter's great grandpa. Um, I never met him, but he was a. Uh, he's just like. Uh, it doesn't. That doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Moving on. Moving on. Miracles. Um, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracles of happiness. I feel like I read that really weird. Kind of like a robot. I don't know why. But yeah, there you go. Next we have Goose. Ooh, somebody could be from Canada. Canada, eh? What's up, buddy? 
I'm not making fun of you. I just really like South Park. <laughs> I know that Canada isn't properly represented in South Park, okay? But still. <sighs> not a fan of maple syrup, I will say that. Um, I like the smell, but I don't like maple syrup, so I would not be a good Canadian. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just being weird and rambling a lot today. Um, goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Okay, I just thought like, I feel like for some of you, you could actually like literally be planning a trip where you're flying. Um, maybe where you're like going from south to north. Um, or like for some, somehow like you have to cross the equator. I don't know. For some of you. Um, that was just kind of like a sense that I was getting with that was it was like actually like somebody like actually getting on a plane and having to like cross borders like going like from a different like from one country to another country maybe crossing like s state lines I wasn't really feeling that though or like the equator itself is like a big long um, kind of like a migrating sort of a travel um, okay next we have penguin uh, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot how to say that word. Um, authentic. Authentic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kept wanting to say it like differently, but I was like, no, that's not. All right. Authentic. 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 Sometimes words are weird. Okay. Uh, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. Okay, I, uh, I was kind of feeling that. With the goose and with, like, the traveling. Like, for some of you, you could be traveling for, like, some sort of, like, a family event. It could be, like, a, a, a get-together. get, like, for, a get -together. for some of you, it, it could be, um, um, to celebrate a life in one way or another. Um, for others of you, it could just be, like, a... Like a reunion of some sort with like family it could be a holiday um okay we have frog prosperity um these are the most beautiful frogs i have ever seen in my whole life it's just beautiful artwork on these cards um let go of the past and embrace change opportunities are close at hand yeah you have we have two aces here and the sun and some love and money coming in. I mean, hello, manifestations. Um, where was I? Uh, hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Coyote, revealer of truth. Coyote. Um, some of you could live in like desert areas. I'm feeling specifically like Arizona, Texas, um, maybe like Arizona or ne and like Nevada. Um, I'm also like, for, okay, for some reason, like I'm like, like getting a memory of a Dos Coyotes restaurant that I went to when I was like really young. Um, and for some reason, I'm just seeing like the chips. So um, maybe you have recently gone to a Dos Coyotes. Maybe you work at Dos Coyotes. I don't know. Um, I think, isn't there like a movie with that same title or something? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Coyote. Coyote. Revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. And then next we have dragonfly. This is another one that reminds me of my aunt. The same aunt as the hummingbird. Um, so you could have some spiritual... Um, I am sorry, some passed on loved ones that are coming through, um, ancestral uh, guides that are coming through um, and around you right now, especially if you're like going, um, you know, to be around family, um, they could be, they could be coming in through right now and, and like around you. Okay, so we have magic. Um, I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. This is literally two right in a row. Okay, so not right in the row, in a row, 
um, but two that talked about letting go of the past. So I think that there's been like a lot of us that are just like releasing things and letting things go. Um, you know, that could be something that's like coming in for you too. Um, you know, at the time of this reading or after this reading. Um, okay, so uh, we have the unicorn affirmators. We have three of them today. The first one is gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for all of the little things. Even when the big things suck, there are always plenty of little things that I can be at least a little grateful for, like hot showers mm -hmm. and music and the fact that humans invented an internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to, using fingers and thumbs to do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. I mean, that's a valid point. Next, we have manifestation. Didn't I say that? I said that. I think I said that more than once. So here it is. We're saying it again. We're going to read about it. Okay. <coughs> Pardon. First, I'm going to clear my throat chakra. Throat chakra. Okay. Um, if, oh, if you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. So use any word that you want. Um, I'm sorry, my reading skills are horrible. Um, when I I start thinking while I'm reading and then my brain's like, no. So it literally splits itself into thinking and then reading. Um, yeah, it's fun being ambidextrous. <laughs> you can use both sides of your brain. <laughs> anyway, next we have magic. It says, I believe in magic. The, the other one was talking about magic too. Dragonfly. This is two talking about magic. We have dragonfly right here, magic, and then this one, magic. And then we had the, didn't we have the magician too? So like, magic, baby. Manifest. Okay. I believe in magic. I see evidence of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence. I'll fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. That's me. It's a matter of mindset, you know? It's a matter of mindset. All right, here we go. Starseed messages. Uh, we don't have any Lightworker messages today because I was called not to do Lightworker messages. So we have um, Starseed messages and then the Secret Garden and then the doors and then the other ones. All right, so for the star seed messages, we have signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Bum, 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 bum. Signs. Okay, smack the camera. I don't know why. Celebration. Okay, I would say I, I felt that. Celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. So some of you could be celebrating yourself. This could be like something where there's like a gathering to like celebrate you. Um, maybe some of you are graduating or somebody that you know is graduating. Um, if you're watching this at the time of, the, of upload, this is, um, I think, I'm pretty sure this is like graduation season. We're getting to be graduation season. Also wedding season. Um, you know, there could be like a wedding. Um, some sort of a celebration. Maybe you're getting an award. Maybe somebody you know is getting an award. Maybe your child is getting an award. Congratulations. Um, congratulations, just on whatever the case may be. Um, it's not, this sounds really awesome and exciting and it, it seems like you've been putting in a lot of hard work and you deserve it. All right, let's move on to the, uh, secret garden, um, messages. Oh, sorry if you heard that. My back, my back, my hips and my back and my neck. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. I'm just, I'm old and my body hurts. Um, all right. So I'm not old. I just, I say that a lot. Um words okay discover the first one is discover uh look at the early dewdrops before they disappear with the morning sun 
Breathe. Slow down and contemplate the T, violets, and ivy tangled around the eaves. Mm. I ran out of tea a couple of days ago. I've been switching. Um, I drink, I used to drink a lot of coffee, like a lot of coffee. I could drink coffee at nine o'clock at night, like a strong cup of coffee and I could go to sleep. Like I was like, I drank a lot of coffee. It was bad. So I don't know, like, um, when, uh, it was like a couple months ago now, I think, um, I just, stopped really like wanting to drink coffee so much and I just switched um and I wanted I used to, decided to switch to tea um but I don't like the like green tea and stuff like I'm not really a big fan of it um I don't really like putting sugar in the tea um because it there's a very fine line between like too little sugar and too much sugar um I prefer honey but honey doesn't really go with all of them and sometimes you can get the wrong kind of honey and it just kind of like tastes weird depending on the flowers and the bees and anyway I found chai tea and I really really like chai tea and the cool thing about chai tea and black tea in general is that you can add cream to it and I have decided that I or figured out that I like the teas where I can add um milk and I can add cream to it so I do chai tea because and I use my uh hazelnut coffee creamer and it is and like a dash of cinnamon and oh my god it is absolutely delicious and so I have my um my one pot of coffee in the morning which is just like a little one so it's like two three cups depending on the size of the cup um, and then, and then I do tea and I've been doing that for a couple months now and I like it, but I ran out of tea a couple days ago. And so I've been like, I don't know how to like de-stress at nighttime now to like go to sleep. So I, I have a, I finally, um, put it in order for my tea and, and it's on its way. So I'm, I'm happy. Anyway, that's my story. Um, thank you for listening. Let's move on. Uh, change as with the falling leaves, embrace change. So I think that the reason why, like, I'm, like, I don't know, I feel like, uh, there's been just, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a sense of, like, release and relaxing. I don't know if, like, you're feeling that energy, too. I don't know if it's just, like, collectively, like, we've just been doing a lot of, like, shadow work and, and healing work and stuff like that the last at least like week or like probably longer but it just feels to me like collectively like there's a lot of like just peace you know um I don't know and the reason why I say that is because like I'm forgetting to say my words with my mouth um I'm trying I'm trying to use telepathy which doesn't work um uh, usually in the 3d and it also probably it doesn't work very well probably at all with a video camera so um if you're wondering why it is that I'm kind of like just not saying anything that's because I'm saying it in my head and then I'm forgetting oh yeah I'm supposed to actually talk about it um that's what happens when you spend like a lot of time going through your shadow work and then you forget that you're supposed to like use your mouth to talk so you've just been in your head a lot Anyway, moving on, Amber, let's stop rambling. We got a lot of, of stuff to go through. All right, prep talk. Relax. Relax. Delight in powdered golden sunshine. Powdered golden sunshine. Hmm. If you could powder sunshine, but why would you want to? I bet it would make you sneeze. I bet it would. I imagine it being like fluffy. Okay, anyway. Um, we have doors, so we have four doors. We have this door, and this one is inner power. Inner power. It says, by your own command, you brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. And then we have this one, this door, this one right here. It always reminds me of the Titanic for some reason. A cure for longing. I said that. I said that there was longing. Um, okay, a cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Yeah, somebody's made a choice here. A choice to choose love. A choice to choose love. <laughs> I love my choices of words. Uh, uh, head over heart and heart one, baby. Nice. I'm telling you, like for uh, I think that for ours a lot. This is like a, this is a reunion. Um. 
especially if you resonate with the twin flame journey. A moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. That's another one. That's another one. It's like when you guys are together with this, when you're with this person, like time stands still. And at the same time, like it goes by too fast. You know what I mean? It's like you're in your own world. And then the next thing you know, like you're just not, it's, it's over. It, it's too long and it never, it's over too quick kind of a thing. Like, I hope that makes sense. Not that it's too long. It's just kind of like, anyway, you, you have to understand, I guess. We have this one. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. There could be like secret love notes here between the two of you. This is cute. I think this is cute. It's a really sweet. Um, I don't know. I like it. All right. Let's move on. Those are all the, those were all the oracles. Um, so let's move on to the universal messages. I feel like really good, you guys. Collectively, like, I don't know. I hope you're feeling good too. All right. The first one we have is you are loved. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are loved for sure. For sure. Be in the now. That's kind of like, I, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what I'm feeling. I'm in the now. Like, fully. Not that I'm not always. It's just something about, like, this being in this reading right here. It's just like, I don't know. I like it. It's a good, it's a good feeling. Chakra work. Mmm. Chakra work. Yeah. <laughs> Removing blockages, right? And I said that with the, uh, I was talking about the throat chakra earlier, too. Yeah. Chakra work is good. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill, baby. Be like an ice cube. Just chill. <laughs> Dreams can come true. Oh, I just like isn't that like a Disney song, a Cinderella song? Cinderella. I think it's Cinderella. It's Cinderella. Or Snow or Sleeping Beauty. It's like somewhere I dream of you. Or I can't even think of it now. It's like I just hear the music of it. I'm pretty sure it's Cinderella. I think it's Cinderella. Like in the beginning when she um, is like first waking up and like before she's even like met the prince or the fairy godmother or like any of that kind of stuff and she like first wakes up and the animals come in. It's like that song that she sings. I don't know what the name of that song is and I know like all Disney movies so for me like not to even be able to remember the words is like a little frustrating for me so I'm going to look it up after the reading. But that's the song. Okay so there, there could be a message for you in that song. Um, sit down and breathe. Sit down and breathe. Just chill. Just chill. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, look, we have one more that I forgot. It's not always about you. Okay. Right oh. Okay, next we have... Far, far away. Okay, now I'm hearing the one. Um, it's the other one. It's it's another one from um, American Tale. Um, it's that song that they sing. I know that you know the one. If you know the movie, then you know the song. I can't. Why can't I think of them right now? It's like they're just coming to my head, and then they're like, nope. <laughs> like when you look into the same night sky somewhere out that's what it is somewhere out there love can see us through aha i remembered it all right earth sorry for my horrible singing 
Um, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Sing away. Er. So we're doing the, uh, what are we doing here? Hello, Amber, get with it. The zodiacs and planets. The zodiacs and planets. So, Earth. Did you know you have an Earth sign? Mm hmm. It's true. You could also be an Earth sign. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Ooh, la la. We have Neptune, so Pisces. Also, dreams. You could be very dreamy. I feel really dreamy. Um, you could be having dreams about this person. They could be having dreams about you. Oh my God! What did I say? What did I say? It's like I'm. It's like I'm psychic or something. I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. Like I read energies or like channel messages. I, I don't get it. I'm also like totally not sarcastic. Rising. So you could have a Pisces rising. Um, you could have your rising be an Earth sign. Your um, Neptune could be in an Earth sign too. Uh, interesting. Cancer, Cancer. So you could have um, your rising could be Cancer. Um, your Neptune could be in Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer, or you could have a Cancer placements in your chart. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the months and seasons. Okay, so take them or don't take them. Remember that time is fluid. Remember that um, free will is a thing, okay? You have free will, I have free will, everybody has free will. Um, and um, everything changes minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. So right now we're getting these messages based on the energies at the time of the upload. Um, so, you know, if this month comes up and you're, and, and you know, this doesn't happen or hasn't happened by then, don't be like, hey, Amber, where's the indigo? You said this. Well, no. This is general reading, okay? General reading. So let's just take what resonates and leave the rest. I saw 7 so July 7th. Okay, that's not what I meant to say, but maybe July 7th. July 11th could be um, applicable too. You may also just really like Pisces. I don't know. All right, so the first one we have is Autumn. Autumn, I feel like that could be a name too. <clears throat> so Autumn, Fall Time, um, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, if you celebrate those holidays, um, can't think of really anything else. Oh, uh, Dia de los Muertos is the first and the second, the Day of the Dead. Um, All Saints Day too, I think, which is just like the renamed version of Dia de los Muertos. All right, um, yeah, you can have birthday in autumn. Autumn, 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 autumn. Um, somebody could really, like, I don't know, I just really feel pumpkin patches. Maybe that's just me because I really like pumpkin patches. I don't know. Um, but here we have November. So, um, what is November? Scorpio and Sagittarius. So Scorpio and Sagittarius could be applicable. Um, for some of you, you could be the opposite of that. So, um, that would be Taurus and Gemini. Um... Okay, this is, this is weird, but somebody could be in, in the military or in the armed services. Because um, I'm hearing it as a, you know, like when they do the, um, like they say the letter like uh, Echo, Alpha, November, you know, Bravo, those kinds of things. And it represents like the, the letter. I, I was kind of hearing that. So somebody could, um, the uh, armed services could be applicable. We have December. Okay, so the holidays, if you... Uh, <clears throat> we also have winter um if you're in the northern hemisphere it would be winter and if you are in the whatchamacallit southern hemisphere it would be uh summer so i guess autumn and the summer hemisphere would be um what would that be like april may february march april may i don't know um and then december would be um Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, uh, spring solstice, it's also Sagittarius and Capricorn. Um, 
and New Year's is the end of a cycle. December is the ending of a, of a cycle, the ending of a year. It's also when um, winter, it's like when winter starts. So it's kind of like when things are like at a standstill. And then we have summer. Okay. Summer could be a name too. Um, so, yeah, for some, for some it's like, whatever this uh, releasing thing is, whatever this is, like, it, I know that everybody's like going through their own like different things, whether it's like ascensions or it's awakenings or it's, you know, twin flame journeys or it's all of the above or it's none of the above, or it's toxic, related, toxic cycles, uh, ancestral cycles, generational cycles, childhood traumas, like whatever, you know, we're all going through our own things and more than one thing for some too. But for, I feel like collectively, um, a lot of us, like it could have been like around the, um, like the fall, winter time where these things kind of like, maybe we made those decisions or like we started to start to see the signs or we took a step towards it. We took initiative towards it. Um, maybe it had something to do with the holidays um, for some of us. And I feel like summer is really when like these things are like closing out and we're like really like, able to like we've done the work and we've closed it out and we've like healed from it and like now it's like able to like like kind of like go step into the new do you know what i mean for some take that if that resonates with you all right everybody those are the messages that i have for you i really hope that they resonated with you thank you so very much for tuning in for watching the videos this week for watching the videos today <laughs> oh pardon me a uh, heart chakra clearing um, yeah, follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you would like to hit that thumbs up button if the messages resonated with you. Don't forget to subscribe. We do. I do post on Monday through Fridays. Um, Mondays we do Earth Signs. Uh, Tuesdays is Air. Uh, Wednesdays is Fire. Thursdays is Water. And then Fridays we do Collective Readings. Um, yeah, so that is everything that I have for you. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or whenever it is that you are watching this. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And for all of those moms out there, Happy Mother's Day. You deserve the best day ever. Thank you so much from everybody for just being the wonderful best mom in the world. Um, I hope that you have a great weekend and I will see you all on Monday.